All right, wearable tech, it's the latest craze for all level of athletes. Now a Brooklyn company is actually using it to help people avoid getting hurt at work. So Pix11's Joe Messier, he explains more from the Hyundai Pix11 studio at Barclay Center. Well, for the team over at Strong Arm Technologies, they're not blue collar workers, they're industrial athletes. And now that team is using the latest technology to try and make sure that each of those athletes works smarter and safer. There's a certain subset of workers that really do wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. so that they can stay in shape, so they can go to work, hit the gym after work, and still have time to take care of their kids because they have to keep up with their bodies. And they'll do that for decades on end, so they stay relevant inside of the workforce, don't get hurt. And it's that level of rigor, that, that mentality, that kind of rough hardness that we really like to respect and work for, and that's where industrial athlete makes a lot of sense. Sean Peterson grew up in a blue-collar family. By 12 years old, he knew how to lay an entire roof by himself. So he knows the day in and day out toll that type of work can have on your body, which is why he created Strong Arm Tech. The company uses its Fuse platform to collect data from the movements of blue collar workers and suggest modifications to keep those workers healthy. It's already being used in places like warehouses and airport runways. So instead of giving you just basic performance statistics, which we'll do, we're going to be able to create a profile around what you've done throughout the day and tell you you're very likely to get hurt. And these are some potential solutions to avoid that incidence. And employee health means a healthy profit for business owners. The Economic Policy Institute says workplace injuries and illnesses cost U.S. businesses $250 billion a year. So Strong Arm Tech uses that data to create products that help prevent injuries. Products like their exoskeleton, which tells the athletes when they're bending the wrong way. And the team right here at Barclays Center puts the product to good use every time they switch the venue from court to rink. Most people, when they lift, they lift wrong. And with having this on, it makes you lift correct. That's the real transition for us is when you can hand someone a prototype and they think it's crazy. And then by the end of the week, they don't want to give it back. And the team over at Strong Arm Technologies says it hopes it can use the real-time data from the FUSE program to completely eliminate back injuries for their industrial athletes in the near future. Reporting from the Hyundai Pix11 studio at Barclays Center, I'm Joe Messieri. If they could do that, that is going to be life-changing, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, later this morning, the little boy who showed up, Adina Min.